While the good corporation is not only engaged in disputes with Microsoft about whose chatbot is better, we are surprised that this is not Google's only occupation. Recently, there are other ways to use machine learning and language models. At the U Reporting Conference, the company intends to show more than products created on the basis of these technologies. Last November, Google announced plans to create a language model that supports 1,000 of the most common languages in the world, which it called the Universal Language Model Lesson. The developers describe it as a family of advanced language models with 2 billion parameters, trained in million hours of speech and billion sentences in more than languages. Some of the languages of this thousand are spoken by less than million people. The authors note that the USM model is already being used by YouTube to automatically create subtitles and speech recognition. Currently USM supports more than languages and will become the basis for creating an even more extensive system. Google's blog says that using a large untagged multilingual dataset to pre-train a model coding program and fine-tune with a smaller dataset makes it possible to work even with rare languages. Moreover, unique learning processes effectively adapt to new languages and data. Google's blog says that using a large untagged multilingual dataset to pre-train a model coding program and fine-tune with a smaller dataset makes it possible to work even with rare languages. Moreover, unique learning processes effectively adapt to new languages and data. One of the directions of development of this technology may be augmented reality glasses, like those that Google showed at the last Yo conference and which are able to recognize foreign speech and translate it in synchronous mode. The virtual text of subtitles appears before your eyes. However, the technology has not been finalized yet, which was proved by the incorrect interpretation of the Arabic language system that occurred during the last conference.